Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create playing cards using Inkscape. I'm going to divide the tutorial in two parts. In this first part I'm going to create the shapes, heart, club, diamond and spade. And as you can see here I already have the heart. I have done it in a previous tutorial, I'm going to include the link in the description for that video and part of the video is creating the heart and the second part of the video is uh, applying different effects so you might want to skip that if you're not interested. So let's get started. Something that I might want to do here is actually use the select and transform tool, select the heart and stretch it a little bit. Then I'm going to use the control D to duplicate this. Holding down the control key I'll move it over here and change the color to black and also use this option to flip the selected object vertically. Next I want to select this tool, create stars and polygons, make sure we have corners set to 3 and also rounded set to 0. Then I'm going to click and drag and also hold down the control key to create this triangle. Then I'm going to use the Select and Transform tool to move it over here and holding down the Shift key I'm going to select this, bring out this uh, Align and Distribute Objects tool and click on this option. Then I can again click here and just position this. Then I'll select both objects and group them. Now the next thing I'll start creating the diamonds grab the create rectangles and squares tool holding down the control key to create a square then with the select and transform tool I'm going to click one more time on the object then again holding down the control key I'm going to rotate it and then I can click again and use this to stretch it a little bit like this and then I can also change the color to this red, just like the heart. Next, let's move on to the spade. And I'm going to use this tool, create circles, ellipses, and arcs. I'm going to hold down the control key to create a circle. Then I'm going to use the select and transform tool again and stretch this a little bit. Then control D to duplicate this then move it over here next I'm going to click ctrl D to duplicate this one more time and move it here for now also I want to use this option to rotate it 90 degrees then I'm going to select these two and group them then shift click on this one and use this option to align them then I'm going to click away and select only this object and holding down the control key I'm going to position it like this and then I can go ahead and select this tool create stars and polygons to create another rectangle again holding down the control key and with the select and transform tool I can position this but before that maybe we can group these and again shift click on this one and use this option to align it and then with the control key position this. We can also use the control shift to scale this a little bit and then position it and after that we can select all of these, group them and change the color to black. The next thing I want to do is make sure that the height of all these shapes is the same so I'm going to select the heart then I'm going to Click here to select the number for the height, then use Ctrl C to copy this number. Then I'll move to the next shape, make sure this is locked. Then I'm going to click here and paste the new number, click enter. Then I'll move on to the next shape and again I'm going to paste with Ctrl V the same number. Moving to the next shape, pasting the number click the enter key then I can select all these and use the align and distribute tool at this option over here and you see that their selection boxes here all of them have the same height now this is pretty much all for this 
part of the tutorial and I'm going to continue in the next one. If this video was useful, subscribe, like the video. That's it for now. Bye.